And faith comes by hearing. Hearing, hearing by the word of God. Let me tell you, deception also comes by hearing. Am I right? When the deception comes, somebody is speaking to you. You are hearing it. So deception comes by hearing and hearing the error. Something wrong you are hearing. So faith comes by hearing. At the same time, deception also comes by hearing. You should be in a position to know whether you are receiving the words of faith or whether you are receiving the words of deception that changes the result. Amen. Hallelujah. So as much as faith comes by hearing, your deception also comes by hearing. And we, can, we have seen so many examples. I gave you so many examples. Even he was deceived. I mean, by the clarity, he was deceived. Why did Eve deceive? Because she heard the words of deception. She was hearing. Oh God, help us. She was hearing what she's hearing, not the words of God, but she's listening to the words of the Satan. Hey, did God tell you a word of deception can change your result? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And because of the deception, humanity lost the glory of God. Adam lost the glory of God. As much as faith comes by hearing, remember deception comes by hearing. In other words, if you want to go as a solid believer, you want to grow strong in the Lord, your circle should be always right people, spiritual people. Amen. Hallelujah. Not good people. Not good people. Good people, yes, you can have them, but they're not into your spiritual life at all. Maybe the good people can be born again. Good people can be, you know, uh, uh, Christians. Good people can be anything, but they're not the right people to you because your calling and your 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 your, 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 your direction is totally different. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me go quickly. Unless you are consistent and persistent in your spiritual life, you can never recognize the voice of God. This is where we have our problems. Am I right? The spiritual life at times is so exciting. All oh, goosebumps. Amen. You hear something, some goosebumps. Oh, God asked me to start this. Oh, God asked me to say this. Oh, God asked me to do this. Oh, God asked me to go there. Goosebumps cannot be the sign of the voice of God. Cool down. Calm down. Come to the presence of God. Sit there. Keep talking to the Lord and see what God gives you the direction. Amen. Hallelujah. People of God, unless you're consistent and persistent in your spiritual life, you can never ever recognize the voice of God. Can everyone amen? Because faith and deception looks the same. If you don't have the strength, you cannot differentiate the faith and the deception. I can give you a lot of examples from the word of God.